Um, tonight, um, I hope you're all here to see Grant Miller, and I'm excited to have him. He is prolific. He's got stuff out on Spotify. Uh, if this is your first time to the bunker, it always doesn't start this way. It usually starts on time. But um, thanks for coming. Um, free, to the, free to the audience, free to the artists. All we ask is you subscribe to the bunker. Uh, there's some links uh, towards the end of the show if you want to send Grant some uh, tokens. He's got Vimo, Cash App, etc. But we'll get to that later. Thanks so much. I apologize. So we're going to jump right into the show and hop over, over to Grant now. And he has been very patient and ready to roll. So thank you very much, folks. And here we roll. Thanks, Grant. Fletch, thanks for having me. Feels good to be here. And uh, thanks to everybody tuning in. It means a lot. Thanks so much. I'm going to be playing a mixture of... Uh, some new songs and some uh, already existing tunes tonight. So uh, I'm mm -hmm. going to start with one that I already have out, and uh, this one's called Far Away, and it goes a little something like this. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much. with the past and I just laugh well I could pour it on a face that I never will I'll never win it was there one night sitting on your front step contemplating if I should leave or stay in hell I'm always second guessing myself Wondering if you'll give a shit today I'll say This blacked out memory is lost and far away hey,
Hey, cool, Grant. Yeah. Do me a second. Check your DI. Yeah, I'm all good there. All right, Captain, carry on. Thanks much. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, so much for uh, tuning in. That tune was called Far Away. You can find that one on Spotify. Uh, there's some links in the description here on this live stream. So if you want to go check that out, it would really mean a lot to me. You'd support me and just my musical career. So I really appreciate that. That one's really fun. Um, I did that one back in September of 2019. And what was so fun about that one is it was kind of the first song back into the studio after a little bit with my trio. Shout out to Mr. Nick Neiman and Kyle Carson, um, two of my best friends, two amazing musicians that I get to, you know, just share awesome creativity with. And uh, it was so cool when we got in there because we could tell right when we were doing drums the first day that we had something really cool here. Um, and I'm glad that they thought it was as good um, as I did, they thought it was probably better. I mean, I've, I'm, I'm my own <laughs> worst critic. So uh, it was really nice to just, uh, you know, get that one released. That was kind of on my mind for a while. And uh, if, if you if you like that song, please go check it out. I got a uh, acoustic version of it under uh, my EP called Live at Sound Summit Studios on Spotify. And you can hear the uh, album version, which is just a single. It's just called Far Away. It's pretty cool. It's got a this cool kind of hazy picture. I'm holding a beer in it and uh it's pretty cool so i actually got that picture on accident so i thought i would make that the artwork i guess so <laughs> so thank you guys so much for supporting and, and tuning in it means a ton and shout out to mr fletch towel and phil smith uh behind the camera uh, we had some technical difficulties that we you know figured out we ended up getting it figured out so great job to you guys you guys are awesome thanks so much for having me here at the bunker So uh, I've been in the studio here starting in the new year. Happy New Year to everybody. If, uh, you know, if, you know, I know it's been a crazy 2020 and 2021 hasn't been the most promising to start, but um, I've been writing a ton of music. I'm in the studio uh, a ton this month and just for the rest of the year. So um, this is a, uh, this is a new one of mine that'll be uh, released sometime here in the new year. And uh, I want to give a shout out to my buddy, Scott Swanson and uh, Jade Hesse, um, two great friends, great couple. Um, I grew up with Scott and he met Jade in college and they just moved down to Dallas um, and they're starting their new life and their new chapter. And uh, definitely miss you guys so much if you're tuning in. Um, but I, they have a line in this song and I just want to dedicate this one to them. This one's called The Way It Used To Be. And this one's really about just, it's kind of a coming of age song and just growing up and realizing that, you know, people move away and you know, life doesn't stay the same. So it goes a little something like this. And real quick, I'm going to check the chat and see who's, who's in real fast. Nick, what's going on? Kyle, both of them are in the chat. Great. What's going on, Colleen? Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Christian, cool. What's up, buddy? Thanks for always supporting. Um, Brant, nice to, uh, nice to, well, quote unquote, meet you. Um, but thank you, man. I appreciate that you like my songwriting. I, I'm definitely, send me a link of your stuff on Instagram. I would love to check you out. So thanks so much. Awesome, awesome. Like I said, this one's called The Way It Used To Be. to grab a few In those same friends they've come and gone and went and I'm stuck with the man that I see 
In the mirror in my house, in the mirror in my house, in the mirror down the hall, in the mirror in my room, in the mirror I can't say how the hell I'm feeling today. In the mirror in my house, in the mirror I will. Broken young man And everyone gets older Yet I'm way too stubborn to say This is how life pans out For the young and middle-aged And I'll never knock you For wanting to try new things but at the end of the day, wish I was looking at you here. In the mirror in my house, in the mirror in my house, in the mirror down the hall, in the mirror in my room, in the mirror I can't say how the hell I'm feeling today in the mirror in my house in the mirror I will stay a troubled young man a troubled young man but will you be there for in my time of need I respect what you see But it's taking the life out of me Hey Scotty, I know we are moving today Dallas, Texas, far away Greg, you're running to the sea, living your life the way it should be. Joe, you're always around, smoking squares in our hometown. And I'm caught up in it all, thinking too much about the way it used to be, about the way it used to Thank you so much. I appreciate it, Phil. Thank you. Thank you. All right, man. All right. Hey, Phil, do me a favor. Oh, I'm sorry. Huge, huge, huge. Grant, huge. check out your DI chord one more yeah. time, man. Sounds good, yeah. Just, we're checking some things out, guys. Yeah. Be patient, please. Yeah, I think I just, uh, I wasn't, maybe I need to turn up a little bit. In, but it's kind of losing myself a little bit. Now, there we are. We're good. It's plugged in. It's really, it's good. So I feel good. Are you feeling good, Fletch? I always feel good. <laughs> Phil, you feeling good, buddy? Oh, sounding good. Oh, yeah. Feeling as good as you sound. Yeah, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Having a little red wine behind the camera here. I'm, I'm drinking Miller High Life. You know, I'm going back to my college roots. <laughs> Not like they were that long ago, though. <laughs> All right. Matt Long, what's up, buddy? Great to see you, man. Well, see you. Um, Colleen, thank you so much. Yeah, Matt, I'll have to come play in Cleveland. I'm bringing the guitar to Holland, Michigan, buddy, when we go on that trip. Definitely, definitely. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting. It really means a ton. I hope I look, uh, hope I look uh, presentable on the camera here. So, hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> yeah. So real quick with that tune, hopping in the studio here next month to do that song, but I got two songs that, um, one of which I'll be playing tonight, um, but 
there's a lot coming on the horizon. I just want you guys to know that. A lot of new music coming from me, a lot of singles. Um, I got about a big, big full album worth of tunes that I really, really want to release um, that I'm just going to kind of release bit by bit. And uh, yeah, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Again, that was called The Way It Used To Be. That one, that one's, uh, I really like that one, especially the bridge when I go to this really funky chord. It's really nice, so... Um, Thank you guys so much again. For those that are watching, I was going to close with this tune. I think I'm going to play it now. No, you know what? I was talking about studio time. I'm going to play the one that I'm working on in the studio. I was literally just touching on it yesterday. Yeah, this one, this, uh, this tune, uh, let me slow down a sec. This tune is called Comeback Kid. Um, I wrote this one in the summer of uh, 2019, so it's got kind of this, like, summery vibe to it. I know it's, like, super cold here in the Midwest, but I, uh, I kind of want to channel that inner summer. So I uh, hope you guys feel a little warm when you hear this tune. So thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I bet your DI kicking in and out somewhere. Yeah, okay. All good. I will take it out. We will no longer have to deal with that. Okay. Sounds good. I want to make sure we're giving good audio to y'all. This one's called Comeback Kid. Won't be my 
my side to see I'm just holding on to hope but now I'm never going back home again again in all my life I understand you won't hold out out your hand trembling through with a mangled heart to leave you breathless and come back kid you're the fucking man enemies lined up like silhouettes take your time to realize your fate ain't worth your head your head Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Phil. I like that. It's it's not just like I'm playing to an empty crowd. At least you know I got people virtually, and then I got Phil and Fletch hanging out. Well, you're making up for the show full pause, Grant. Sounded marvelous. Really on track. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No. Sorry about that for the difficulty, guys, and the you know kind of the you know reshare yeah, the links. It's all right. They're all hanging in there. Yeah, everybody's hanging in. I lots appreciate of shout outs. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. A lot of, oh, wow, we got a few more comments here. Uh, no MGD. No, Kyle, I uh, I did not choose the beer. I was going to bring some beer, but then I was like, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll do this, I guess, sober a little bit. And then uh, Fletch was like, hey, we got some beers if you want them. And I was like, okay, cool. So, yeah, I, I do agree, though. High Life. Uh, MGD is a little better than High Life. <laughs> a little better, right? Uh, yeah, right. Brandon, thanks for tuning in, brother. Appreciate it as always. Longtime friend of mine since preschool. You're the man. Thanks for tuning in, bud. Um, oh, Nick, thanks so much. Nicholas uh, Weissner. Thank you, buddy. I'm uh, glad you enjoy the tunes. It means a ton, man. Um, your fellow songwriter. Great. Keep writing, man. Keep doing that. Keep, uh, as I like to say, keep the faucet going, right? Keep it open because, you know, sometimes, I mean, there's, in the past six months, I've written a lot of songs, but just a lot of them didn't make the cut. So if, it, if, uh, if there's anything I can say about songwriting, it's just keep writing, keep writing. Some songs might need to put on the back burner. Some songs you might need to just pitch, but I'm sure you're a great songwriter, man. I'm glad that uh, it's inspiring to you. I appreciate that. It's awesome. So, Kyle, thanks, man. I'm glad you think Comeback Kid sounds great every time I play it. That's great. Uh, Brent, thanks so much, man. Appreciate it. Oh, Garrett Meyer. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. College roommate of mine, good friend of mine from, uh, <clears throat> from whoa, uh, middle school. Met him in middle school. We'll never forget that party, Gary. We'll never forget that. Um, roomed with him. <laughs> roomed with him two years of college. Good time. Cannot, uh, cannot uh, forget that. And there's my Uncle Johnny Summer. More music, less talk. I know, I know. I have to do this. I got to connect with the crowd, okay? Don't get on me about this, Uncle Johnny. We'll have a talk on the phone later. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Nick, of course, man. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Keep doing you, man. Keep writing music. God knows that's what we need right now in this crazy world. Cool. All right. So that's kind of an existing one. Um, I had another new one that I wanted to play tonight. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to play Nightcap. So uh, to be... You know, as straightforward as possible. Comeback Kid hasn't been released full studio yet. Going to be released here soon. I actually was in the studio yesterday working on it. Um, but you can find the live version from another live session called Live at Sound Summit Studios. You can find that on Spotify. But if you're also in Apple Music, I know there's two sets. Go to Apple Music. It's there as well. I would appreciate it. Um, we got links in the description that'll take you right to it. So, uh, or you can be, you know, you can be, you know, crazy and put in more effort and type my name in or whatever, whatever you want to do. Make it easy on yourself, though. Go click the link. <laughs> All right. So 
I'm going to be as uh, blunt as possible with you guys. I am just went through a breakup, um, and uh, this tune really kind of reflects. It kind of just came out. This is very new. It's called Nightcap, um, and for those that don't know what a nightcap is, it's uh, you know one last drink before you go to bed, right? But for me, it was several, so... Um, <laughs> That's what kind of gave me the idea for this song. So it's a, it's a fun song. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. This is another new one, which will be released this year as well. So hope you guys enjoy. Shout out Phil and Fletch again. Thanks for maneuvering around this whole uh, sound thing. All good, brother. say that I hope for a better life, but I was dealt a gray sky, hanging over my head like a dull light. Meet these friends of mine, it always felt out of sight. Shouldn't life get better as you age, like a fine wine in a sunny space? And I don't want to sit around and feel this bad. Filling up my veins with the nightcap You never really know what's gonna happen And all I know is I miss you so faith and time into those who never cared but you'll never catch me shedding tears then she came around turned my whole world upside down it hasn't been the same since the day she left I'm writing these tunes to get something back you know I'll always be your man filling up my veins with the nightcap you never really know what could have happened and all i know is i miss you bad and i don't want to sit around and feel this bad drowning out the pain with the nightcap you never really know what's gonna happen and all i know is i miss you so veins with the nightcap you never really know what's gonna happen and all i know is i miss you bad and i don't want to sit around and feel this bad filling up my veins with the nightcap even when i know it could have happened and all i know is i miss you so You feel that one? <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, that one's called Nightcap. Uh, as I've been saying a million times, I've really been focusing. All right, so this one's new, guys. Um, I'll, I'll try and be a little more brief. <laughs> but uh, this one's really new. I um, was really feeling this one. I just, um, just really love those lines. And I, I think what made me so inspired with this song is kind of a lot of like when I'm so bad, so like I'm kind of just like chucking vocals in there while I'm really kind of getting aggressive with the guitar. I think that really builds up 
the emotion. And uh, as a songwriter and somebody who's just a huge fan of music, obviously I should be a big fan of music if I'm, you know, if I do this professionally, I'm full time. So, uh, <laughs> but that's the type of music that really stings, you know, or kind of sits with me, um, kind of hits me in the, the heart. And uh, I hope that hits you guys there too. And you guys, you know, if people are going through similar situations or even just anything where you're feeling kind of down. I hope that song kind of lets you release some of that, you know, maybe pain or sadness out, but in a positive way um, and releasing it in the music. So I hope, uh, I hope you guys like that one. Thank you so much again. I liked it. Well, Fletch liked it. So did Phil. Oh, yeah. oh hell yes. Well, yeah. Okay. So Phil says, oh, hell yes. So uh, we might need to release that one a little sooner for you guys. <laughs> Pretty soon. All right. Quick chat. Quick chat, roll through. All right. Let me see this. Bryn Michaels backyard. Yep, Gary, I'll never forget it, buddy. Whoever you got that cap. Oh, thanks, Mom. Yeah, thanks for getting me the uh, the cap for Christmas. I got like four more. So after that. Love you, Mom. Thanks for tuning in. Uncle Johnny, I know you're just messing. Uh, thanks, Aunt Teresa. I got the family rolling in here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, my mom's my mom's great for getting me this. It's pretty great. Uh, what's up, Trello? Thanks for tuning in, buddy. I appreciate it. Drew, thanks, man. It's so great to uh, see you in this. It's so so nice. <laughs> yeah, I am single, Matt Long. We should talk. Shoot me a text. All right. Tommy, I'm not going to be playing any Jimmy Buffett for you tonight. It's all originals. Maybe when we get together and we have a bonfire and we're drinking some. Uh, some rum. We can, I'll bring out some boat drinks or uh, Margaritaville. We can get a little, a little fun with it. But I need to see you soon, man. Hope things are well up in Michigan. John, Marty, thanks for tuning in. So good to see you guys. Or why do I keep saying that? So good to see you guys in the chat is what I mean. <laughs> That's so great. Thank you guys for tuning in. It means a ton. All right. I'm gonna. Thank you for hanging in. Is how I feel about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, Grant, you're on fire. I, I sorry, I put you in this position, but you are just the trooper I knew you would be. <laughs> Fletch, it's all good, man. You can't control the uh, the audio stuff. Things happen, and uh, you know, we we just adapt. We adapt to situations. I think that's what 2020 has taught us. In the beginning of 2021, so uh, I just appreciate being here, invited here. I got, you know, I'm glad. Uh, couple of people who came through were saying you had to get me in here that's that meant a lot whoever did that thank you um feels great to be here so um i'm gonna play an original uh already existing one you can find this obviously like i could say all streaming platforms but really go to spotify uh, if you're a spotify person you could find this on spotify head to the link in the description boom press on it give me a follow on spotify too so you could stay notified for you know any new releases um, and then Apple Music, this is on as well. Um, it's on a lot of other stuff, but those are the two that I know a lot of people use. So um, it's there. So this one is called Inside My Head, bringing this one out a little early. This is kind of, this is like my most popular one right now. And, uh, you know, thank you everybody for the, the awesome reception for this song. And uh, it goes a little something like this. So if you know it, I know I can't hear you, but sing along. of rum, it leads me back and away from you. Oh, glory, could it be found? Caught between a sense and a sound. Please lead me away now with some psychedelic figure me out. Figure me out. I thought you were here all along inside you were here all along inside my head, head oh, 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 oh. In your 
Your talk is way too cheap while you're standing next to me Seeking out the specialty of another way to figure it out Don't do this to me now I'm stuck and I can't get out now The pressure I can do without But you never seem to get the clue No, you don't No, you don't Get a clue I thought you were here all along inside my head. And I thought you were here all along inside my head. While I'm sinking through the night, sing your sweet songs in my spine I thought you were here all along inside my head hey, hey, oh, 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 oh. come on Woo. Yeah. Thought you were here alone inside my head. Thought you were here alone inside my head. Thought you were here alone inside. Thought you were here alone inside my head. head. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 yeah, I was on inside my head. I always inside. Inside my head, inside my head, inside my head, head, oh, 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 All right, I love that song. For you guys, I've, I've been listening to that for the last two weeks. It's up on Spotify, I think. Yeah, it is. And, yes, it is. Yeah, and that was the one that was running through my head with Grant. I, and if you have more songs like that in your future, Grant, you're going to do very well. Fletch, thank you, man. That you're, you're making me blush on live, man. Come on. You knew I'm a little bit Irish. That's my goal in life is to make, <laughs> make the audience blush. That's or the, the performers blush. That's what I do. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, you know, what's funny about that song is, and if, uh, you know, for those that hopefully you could see this, but uh, it's, uh, it's a capo, so, you know, what it does is just kind of changes the key of the guitar. And um, I recorded that song just kind of standard without it, right? So there, it wasn't on it. But I really, I, I just really love the sound of it in this key. And um, I believe it's F sharp. Yeah, F sharp. Um, and, uh, you know, I just was playing this round and round for a little bit. And I, and I was just like, man, like just it, it hits a little harder. So um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to be actually re-releasing this song um, in this key. And because uh, this song's kind of uh, took on... A lot of shapes. I mean, I released this song back in 2018, August 24th. No, sorry. I released it as a single on July 5th, 2018. Okay, so it's been two over two years, right? Yeah, over two years. Sorry, I keep forgetting it's 2021. 
um, over two years that this song has uh, been around, and um, it's taken on a lot of shapes on tour, on the road, and all that. So um, I think I'm going to re-record it and uh, release it as a just kind of a just a, a new a new version, and uh, just call it "Inside My Head" in in F ma or F sharp major <laughs> or something like that, you know. Um, but yeah, you guys can find that one on Spotify and Apple Music too, if you're an Apple Music person. But Spotify for sure, um, that's on there. Just head on over to, like we said, links in the description. Um, check it out. It would really mean a lot if, if, they, if you're new to that song. So uh, it's definitely changed a lot, but it's, it's still rocking. That song's great. I've, I've, I remember when I wrote that song. I was in my dorm, or no, sorry, it was not my dorm room. I was a uh, sophomore year of college, Illinois State University. And uh, I remember I was playing around with that, and I was writing my first record, The Little Things. And uh, I just knew there was some fire there. I knew there was, like, some steam. There's... Something was working, and it just you just feel it, you know. As a songwriter, you just kind of feel it, and you kind of keep going with it, and kind of just lean into it a little bit more, and you know, a lot came from that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Phil, did you enjoy that one, buddy? Perfect. All right, I'm gonna. Re yeah. If you guys have any questions, yeah, please ask me. I would love to answer anything that you guys may have regarding music or just my personal life or something. Um, you know, so that would be great. Um, let me just read some of these. Yeah, thanks, Fletch. Yeah, links are in the description if you want to check that out. If you want to leave a Venmo or whatever, uh, Cash App, uh, PayPal, if you guys want to tip, that would be awesome. Thank you. Um, Mom, I'm glad it's your favorite. I know you've told me that a hundred times, and I appreciate it. <laughs> you got to always have your mother tell you, hey, you know what? That song's rocking. That's when you know it's good, you know? For the second hundred. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh Trello and Matt going at it. The old neighbors of mine. Thank you, guys. Drew, thanks. Craig? Thanks for tuning in, man. Don't worry. I'm not having a craft beer, though. I'm sorry, but I'm sipping some Miller High Life. Um, and, I, and I don't mind it. I, I needed a light beer today. It was a long day. Now, Grant, everybody in the bunker drinks Miller High Life. <laughs> everybody here in the bunker drinks Miller High Life, so. Because they drink a lot, and I can buy it. For fifteen dollars, yeah, right. Thirty pack. I was gonna say, I was like, Fletch, you bastard. You know what you're doing. <laughs> subscribe to the yes, and make sure you guys subscribe to the bunker. There's, they do. Fletch and Fletch does a great job. This is such a cool setup. And if you want more, if you want to see more of this stuff, there's so many great artists in the Chicagoland area. And um, do you just do it for Chicagoland guys, or? Well, or, we we've had people come as far as uh, from Indiana. Okay. Um, in a couple months, we have people coming down from Wisconsin. I would say it's hey mid, I would say it's Midwest, but right now it seems to be oh I don't know everywhere far west burbs down to Chicago. We have people come out of Chicago. Cool. Th thanks for asking, Grant. I appreciate it. Of course, yeah. No, it's just we're musicians. We all got to support each other here. So, um, so yeah, I'm gonna dive into my next tune. Um, ooh, which one do I want to do? Which one we already did? Nightcap. We did. The way it used to be, we did Comeback Kid, we did Inside My Head, we did Far Away, we're at five. So we got three more. You know what, I'm gonna do Phoenix. Um, this one's a newer one as well. Um, so this tune, um, I dedicated this one, and it's kind of, uh, the, the meaning of the song is like, if you guys have ever heard like a Phoenix, like rise from the ashes type of thing. Uh, that's kind of what this song is about. Um, I wrote this during COVID, when it first kicked off, and I just felt so beat down as a musician. I got my whole infrastructure, and uh, my other musician friends, we all got kind of beat down from this whole thing. Um, we're, we're still obviously pushing through and everything, but um, you know, I, was, I was just kept telling myself, I'm like, just like a phoenix, just rise from the ashes, just keep, keep at it, just keep doing what you're doing, and just, just put everything and all your heart into it, and just keep at it. And that's, that's the mantra I always kind of you live with, you know, there's always, but there's always like a silver lining to things. And, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to stay positive. I know it's really, really rough right now in the world, but I'm, I'm staying positive. So, and I also, I had a, I had a, my dog who passed away before I went to college, literally like a week before I went to college. Um, he always kind of, uh, you know, he was always there for me, you know, like if I was having a tough day, I'd always be there hanging out with him. And, and, uh, you know, I thought about him during that song or this song. So, um, and I, uh, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this one. This will be released soon. Um, doing a handful of new ones, like I said, and some existing songs. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Hope you 
hope you gentlemen dig this one. appreciate that yeah yeah you like that one? Oh yeah you know that song always reminds me of uh the, the when i first debuted it i was up in lake geneva wisconsin and uh i don't know it was the summer and, and like gigs were still happening because in like in, in wisconsin it wasn't like covid hadn't hit there yet you know and they were like things were kind of still open but we were outside and stuff so i was able to distance and do all that stuff um but that was the first time i played and i had like a couple of people come up to me and they're like that was a really awesome song so I just kind of had that feeling I was like yeah you know and for those that don't know I have like this special connection with Lake Geneva just like one of my favorite places um to vacation and, and go hang out I don't know just something about it so there's that cool kind of connection of like hey you know the locals liked it so it made me feel good so cool I'm gonna read some comments here you guys I've been kind of looking out of my peripheral you guys have been commenting a lot let's see what we got here Scotty, thanks for tuning in, man. Um, hope everything's going good down in Dallas. Miss you, dude. Wish you were still here. Tell Jade I said hello. Hope the move-in went well. 
I'm glad it's Marty's favorite too, Johnny. Thanks, Mart. I appreciate it. So uh, I'm so happy to see you guys in this. That's awesome. That's awesome. Champagne. Yeah, it's the champagne of beers, Trello. That's the way it goes. Champagne of beers, right, gentlemen? <laughs> yeah. Uncle Tommy, what's going on? Yeah, you see, he called me uh, He called me Geneva. That's like a little nickname he gives me. And that's funny. I brought that up. Um, yeah. Kyle, play racetrack or Emerald Bay. Ooh, okay. I, I mean, I had, uh, I had a, a different original locked in. But all right, all right. Maybe, maybe I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Ed Matthews live from Sedona. Matt, stop. You're going to make me crack up during this whole thing. <laughs> oh, Johnny, that was called Phoenix. That's a new one. Uh, John and Marty, sorry. Um, that one's called Phoenix. It's a new one. It'll be uh, released here soon. Um, glad. All right, yeah, Rob, what's your question real fast? You guys, feel free to ask me questions, like I said. What's your, ah, funny, funny, funny. Favorite detergent fabric softener? Ooh, I don't know. I have no clue. Um, I would have to, oh, because I'm coming over to do laundry. Yeah, um, yeah, I was going to bring a bag of my own pods, so uh, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Hey, Grant, I have a yeah. question. Yeah, question. Now, you were really busy going into Christmas. You did, did you do a Christmas special with a whole bunch of musicians, right? Yeah, so uh, my awesome friends in each day, they're from Plainfield, um, and my real good buddy, who I just became really, really good friends with after, I, I, didn't, I didn't know him at all, um, Ben Moana, great dude. Um, he's from Kenosha. Came down from there both days. He drove down, back, down, and back. So we did a rehearsal first day. Second day, we did all the recording. Yeah, I watched that. I thought that was outstanding. Thank you. Man. And yeah. um, what I liked about it, all kinds of different musicians came from all over the place for that. And uh, you put out a bunch of tracks. Um, and then next question, since we're sort of, like, we're, we're still going, but. Yeah. Do you have gigs lined up? Where What's going to happen with you in the next three or four months? Yeah, so um, as of right now, I started getting some venues reaching out. Um, but usually January and February is kind of my slow time anyways. So I usually try to only, I don't try and gig as much during those times. It's kind of my writing months, as I like to say, January, February, uh, where I just get to kind of, you know, because I teach and I do some other, you know, I do social media management and I um, some other stuff. Sure. So, uh, so yeah, usually it's kind of my more downtime, but, uh, once kind of March really starts to hit, I will really be getting back into just playing out and about in the Chicago land in the Midwest area. But I do a lot of private events too. So, um, so yeah, if you ever want me for a private event, please reach out to me. You can, uh, you can head over to my website, which is millerandmusic.com. M I L L I R E N music.com. You can contact me on there, or you can reach out to me on my email, which is just grant, G-R-A-N-T, at millerandmusic.com if you ever want me on a private event. But that's kind of what I've been doing, um, just getting excited to get back out there. Just with the cold months here in the Midwest, it's just kind of up and down, and, you know, it's like, you know, it's just like a lot of venues don't really have the money to spend on entertainment and, you know, all that. So uh, I've just been kind of playing it by ear, day by day. All good, Grant. Thanks much, man. Yeah, of course, of course. See if there's any more questions before I dive in here. Close it. All right. All right. So we got two more left. Two more left here. I think we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this new one. Um, there was a snippet of this on my Instagram about a year ago, and I was just really digging this. It's another song about missing people. I feel like. Uh, just I've had a lot of things go down in the past couple of years with, uh, you know, friends moving and breakups and family members passing away and just a lot. So, but it's life. So um, as a songwriter, I get to lucky enough to get to be able to write about this and make sure that it's, it's heard in the right way. <laughs> so this one's called Minutes. Um, this one's really just about um, just you know, kind of feeling lonely um, and just, yeah, feeling kind of backed into a corner. It's kind of, you just feel like all the minutes are passing by so fast and you just feel like, oh, where's that time going? You know, it's like, oh man, I still feel like I'm a 15 year old freshman in high school, in gym class, hanging out with the boys. 
<laughs> Drinking skim milk at lunch. <laughs> so yeah, it goes a little something like this. You like that one? Oh yeah. yeah. I feel like you guys have said so much positive stuff. Just say something mean to me already, so I can feel like this. Is, yeah. I don't know about that hat, man. Thank you. You know, hat's black. You get a colorful hat. <laughs> yeah, right. Maybe I need the. Maybe I need to switch out. Maybe I'll get a blue hat. Maybe I should have wore a blue hat, a blue uh, newsboy cap or something. What do you think? No, Phil, you like it. You like the gray? Yeah, I like, I like no, it. I good, like it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, that one's called Minutes. That one's, uh, man, I really like that song. Um, my favorite line about that is, I'll stay in line if you got the time. I'm eating up minutes at the five and dine. And it's more so just not at a five and dine eating. <laughs> Don't, I'm just, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a metaphor <laughs> in a way. So let me, uh, let me see what people are saying here. All right. Sounded great. Yep, see you in the morning, Mom. Thanks for letting me do laundry because my, my uh, <laughs> I'm telling you, my, uh, <laughs> my uh, washer and dryer and my me and my dad's place broke so yeah question do you feel your writing is more spirited in times of heartache and trouble or times of joy of inspiration matt that is a great question and i gotta say honestly a little bit of both um i feel like as somebody uh like myself i've, I've always and especially it's more so in the past six months but i've tried to really dial in on the fact of like you know really adopting this mantra of like there's a silver lining and, you know, at the end of the day, yeah, this day may be really tough and really bad. 
um, but you know what, tomorrow's going to be even better. And just like that type of thing, um, I think that's kind of fueled me to kind of mix that like heartache and trouble with that you know, joy and inspiration. I, I get so much inspiration. Like I listen to new, new albums every day, and then there's some albums that I just can't stop listening to because it gives me this you know, utmost you know, joy and, and this, this kind of just like, man, I feel so... I feel so inspired right now. I feel so raw. I feel so kind of vulnerable in a good way. And uh, to, you know, to kind of, you know, to, you know, I feel like, I feel like it's a little bit of both, but I, you know, I think it's more so rooted in kind of inspiration rather than, um, you know, you know, more, or if I take both your slashes that you gave, I say it would be more of inspiration and trouble. Um, just kind of the, you know, disconnect, where am I disconnecting and how can I get there and really delve into a song and, and let it speak. And, uh, yeah, I would say that's kind of, that's a little bit of both, a little bit of both, but that's my explanation for it. Thanks for asking that, Matt. That's a really great question. Craig, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Uncle Tommy, thank you. I'm glad you thought that was good. John and Marty, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad that you liked Phoenix in Minutes. Yeah, yeah. I will, uh, I'll walk across the street maybe sometime here soon. I haven't seen you guys in a bit, but uh, maybe I'll bring the, uh, bring the guitar and play that one for you guys live. Um, I'd love to see you. Love to see you soon. So um, thank you, everybody. I appreciate it. So this is going to be my last song. Um, I'm uh, kind of torn because I had a, <laughs> my drummer was just like, hey, you got to play this song and this song. And then my singer-songwriter buddy Drew is just like, uh, I'll play this one, and uh, you know I think uh, I appreciate the the request, guys. But I think I'm gonna sit with this one just because it uh, it vibes with the whole set really well. And this one's called "The Little Things." This is the title track of my first record, and the reason I kind of wanted to play this one tonight is because this is uh, this is kind of my first show. You know, granted we're not in a venue, but this is my first show back um, since November 8th of 2020. So it's been a little bit. Um, just been in the studio writing a ton. And I feel like this song is, you know, really good. I mean, it's about the little things, appreciating the little things in life and uh, noticing those little things that could make a difference uh, in a relationship or a friendship or just uh, a goal or something like that. And uh, I think that it just really fits well with what I'm doing here right now. So I'm going to play this one. It's called The Little Things. You can find this record on Spotify. You can find it also on Apple Music. Um, links are in the description. Um, if you feel like you would like to Venmo and uh, donate, it would mean a ton. My Venmo, PayPal, and Cash App links are in the description. And uh, please, please subscribe to The Bunker. What Fletch is doing here is insanely awesome. It's just, it's really kind of bobbing and weaving with the whole virus thing. And, you know, we're, we're kind of just being able to give you guys a show. And, you know, you, just, you don't have to leave the comfort of your own couch or your own home, wherever you're watching. Well, thanks so much, Grant. Yeah, no, thank you, Fletch, for having me. I mean, it means, it literally means the world. And... And I, I, I can't thank you enough for letting me just be a part of what you have going on. Please go subscribe to them. Um, you know, hopefully when uh, I got a handful of new songs out here and maybe hopefully in the next year or something, I can come back and we can get rocking again and do a little promotion on this. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, I'm glad. I'm, guys, I'm going to be invited back. Thank you, thank you. And just a quick shout-out to Phil, too, behind the camera, dude. Thank you. It's so great to meet you. And, uh, just, My pleasure, man. Yeah, I yeah, really appreciate you uh, hanging out with us. I hope you're... Well, I know you're enjoying the music, so thank you for enjoying it. I appreciate the comments. Thank you. So, all right, all right. Oh, there we go. Thanks, Drew. I'm glad. I'm glad you approve. <laughs> cool, cool. So, yeah. Thanks, Matt. I'm glad that you like that. Uh, the answer. Yeah. I mean, let's let's talk on the phone too tomorrow. We'll uh, we'll have a chat and we'll dive more into it. But uh, but yeah, this one's called uh, the Little Things. You can find this on Spotify and stuff. Please go check it out. It really mean a ton. Thanks. Quick cheers. Here's to the first show of 2021. And here's to a better year. Here's to more shows, musicians doing great things. Make sure and keep in mind when you're out at a bar and you see a musician working their heart out, um, you know, make sure you go tip. Make sure you go show them appreci appreciation if you're a music fan. Um, it really means a lot and it goes a really long way as this is what we do for a living. So um, I really appreciate it. This is such a great thing. I, I, I'm thanking you guys a million times. I just, I feel really good. And, Feels good to be back. Yeah. Awesome, Grant. Nice touch. Cheers. Cheers. I'll do do a little one 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 shot here. That one goes out to all my fellow 2020 graduates in the pandemic. <laughs>
Thank you everybody so much for tuning in. It really means a ton. That's another bunker session done. Make sure you subscribe. Please check out my music if you want to. Head on over to millerinmusic.com. You can check out all my stuff there. Um, I'm on Spotify, Apple Music, and all the streaming platforms, but I got links, like I said, lined up in the description. I got my Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. If you feel generous and want to go check out not only the music, but donate, it would really mean a ton. Fletch, Phil, thank you guys so much for everything. <laughs> and this was such a great night. This is the best Thursday night I've had in a while. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Grant. You know, I was listening to your music a couple, because we booked, what, three, four months ago or something, and I was really yeah. looking forward to this show. You've got such energy behind your music. You have such breadth behind your music. 
Um, your studio tracks are outstanding. If you haven't heard them, go to Spotify and listen to them and follow, follow them on so social media. Uh, it doesn't cost anything. Yeah, should I plug those? Uh, you can plug them all yes. you want. Is yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. Um, I keep a similar handle for everything. So uh, on Instagram, you can find me at, uh, at the Millerin thing. So that song was called The Little Thing. So it's a little play off my first record. So T H E M I L L I R E N. Yeah. I think uh, I think all your links are in the description down below. Yeah, I think they and are. And don't be afraid to give him a tip. Everybody loves money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, having said that, the the bunker is free to artists. Um, Grant, any other closing words here? Yeah, you know, I just kind of wanted to respond to the the uh, the fans tuning in here and just uh, kind of just answer anything that they might say and kind of respond to these, um, you know, uh, comments real fast if you don't mind. That's all right. All good. All right. Skyler, what's going on, man? Thanks for, uh, thanks for tuning in, dude. It's been a while, and I, I hope you're still rocking. Somebody like you has an amazing voice. Definitely should still. I hope you're still rocking, man. So uh, hope things are well, and thanks for tuning in. It really means a ton. Really means a ton. <laughs> Tom, Thomas Seawog is my good friend from high school, who's a massive Jimmy Buffett fan. We went to a Jimmy Buffett show together. I think that was our freshman year of college, maybe? Senior year of high school? And uh, he says, that parrot chilling on the drum set. Yeah, I know. I noticed that too, dude. I was laughing. That parrot chilling on the drum set is also asking for some buff Buffett, just asking for a friend. <laughs> yeah, um, the parrot means a lot to me. Yeah, yes, of course, of course. Grant Dempster, another good friend of mine that I met through my buddy Tommy. Hey, man, thanks for tuning in from Grand Rapids. Hope to make it up there here real soon. Uh, Hey, bro, keep rocking. Need you to come visit GR again soon. I will be up there very soon, man. We'll do some fishing, some drinking, maybe bring the guitar up, then we'll, we'll, I'll play some tunes for you. So, um, Skyler, thanks, man. I'm glad you think I'm sounding great. Thank you. Really means a ton. Yep. Thanks for the great show, Grant and Bunker. Matt, thanks for doing that, not only for me, but also for Bunker. These guys are the greatest to make it happen. So, thank you, Greg. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thanks, man. Um, <laughs> Grant, I'm glad you think... Uh, I'm glad you think it's cool, man. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Awesome live stream, really great show. Thanks, Trello. Appreciate it, buddy. I'll see you Friday. We're getting beers. <laughs> and uh, Scott, love you, bud. Love watching you play. And said I missed the first couple new songs. Scott, it's okay, but I actually played the song that your name was in before you tuned in. So I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm, we're gonna have to like zoom or something, and I'll play it for you. So I'm, I'm gonna hold you to that. Um, Sick show, Geneva. Love the vibe. New tracks are awesome, too. Need to see you live ASAP. Props to you in the bunker for a great show tonight. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Uncle Tommy. I appreciate that. Couldn't do it without these guys. They're just, they're great. <clears throat> Joan Velez. Thank you, Joan. I appreciate it. So nice to see you. I know maybe we haven't met, but I thank you for tuning in and checking out the show. It really means a ton. And, and anybody who I haven't met or know right now, thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are great. Joan, you're, uh, you're awesome. You're awesome. Anna? Tommy has the whole house watching the show. Great job. Anna, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy. You were the man. Thank you, Anna. Can't wait to meet you soon. I've, I've heard a lot of great things. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yep. John and Marty, I'll, hey, I'll come over. I'll mask up. I'll be six feet apart. I'll play some of these songs for you. Just let me know. Johnny, you got my cell phone number. Let me know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks, Rod. I appreciate it, buddy. Scotty, hope you're doing well. Thank you again, everybody. And uh, just some last words I'd like to say is just thanks for supporting me. Seriously, it means a ton. I've uh, learned a lot about myself as a musician within the past year and um, just as a person as well. So uh, thank you for growing with me. And, uh, you know, been through a lot in the past nine months, um, but we're going to just keep on striving and keep on kicking. And it doesn't even matter. I'm not going to let anything get in the way. So thank you. Thank you, everybody, so much from the bottom of my heart. It means a ton. And uh, I'll see you soon. Hey, thank you so much, Grant. That was uh, so much fun. I had a blast. Yeah, me too. For all of you out there, thanks for um, hanging in. Um, we do this most every Thursday night. Um, we uh, love what we do. Subscribe to support the channel. That's all we ask. Uh, and come back another time. I have some uh, music for you on the way out from Grant's um, uh, tracks that he sent for the show. Please stick around, give them a listen, and have a wonderful night, and have a great 21, and stay safe, everybody. Thanks much.